Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and in this tutorial we will discuss the different steps that you can take to fix a screen issue. I've been facing the screen issue from two days that I was having a horizontal line on the bottom of my screen and that was in fact showing a mirror image of whatever was on the top. So what I did firstly was that I contacted the HP support team and what they said was that my laptop was out of uh, warranty and they won't be able to help. So I will have to take it to the service center and that's what they suggested. So before that I wanted to take it to the service center I just wanted to give a try and see if the problem gets fixed. So what I did was uh, I did a couple of things and uh, that's what I want to explain over here in this tutorial. So this is a bonus tutorial mainly I do CAD technology tutorials and uh, if you like these kind of tutorials please subscribe and let me know that you enjoy it and I will uh, try to make more of these kind of bonus tutorials in my channel so let's just get started so firstly you can try troubleshooting the source so the same goes with your uh, desktop screen or your laptop screen in the case of desktop what you can do is you can uh, connect the desktop screen to a new monitor if the problem persists in that monitor as well then the problem is in fact not with your monitor it's with your graphics card if not then you will have to check the monitor and uh, another alternately for the laptop what you can do is you can uh, use the snippets tool to take the screenshot of your screen or, or you can do a screenshot by using function and uh, print screen button and then you can have a look you can view that using paint or any image viewer just uh, drag the image uh, towards the top where your monitor is working properly and uh, see if the place where you had the problem is viewed properly or if it still has that kind of uh, scratch if it has such kind of a scratch or uh, such kind of a blinking kind of thing then obviously it's coming from your uh, uh, graphic card if not it's uh, it's actually a problem with your monitor so in my case what the, the problem was uh, in fact with the monitor so let's see the next point factory reset in fact in your monitor uh, in your uh, desktop monitor you have a prob you have a option called as a factory reset so you can do a factory reset before doing the factory reset what you can do is you can remove the power source and you can see the no display message on your uh, monitor if there's no display message on the monitor has the lines it means that it's not coming from the processor if it's not coming from the processor it's not the problem with your graphics card the problem it's the problem with your monitor otherwise it's the problem with the graphics card now the thirdly set to recommended resolution so you can try this and in fact this is the only step which was recommended by HP support team and it was not much of a use for me but you can still give it a try just go to uh, control panel if you want I can guide you with that start control panel and you can go for adjust screen resolution and in this you can try you can just make sure that you're in the recommended resolution let's continue the presentation try drive booster or similar this is a very powerful tool you can google drive booster and uh, try installing a trial version of it you can uh, update the drive booster and uh, update all the drivers and then reboot and see if uh, the problem is solved if uh, your drivers were uh, an old version then obviously once it gets updated the problem will be solved refresh rate so you can try this as well I'll just guide you with that so it's again in the control panel in the adjust screen resolution in the advanced settings you have a monitor tab in the monitor tab you can just draw on, uh, you can just try 40 hertz uh, screen refresh rate and try if the problem gets resolved disconnect and check the cable you can do this uh, on your desktop computer and the monitor remove the cables of the monitor and uh, check the pins inside the cable uh, on the on the the place where you connect you just uh, just check if the pins are bent or something if the pins are bent then I think you'll have to replace the cable also you can just hold the cable on either ends and just pull it and uh, straighten the cable because if you once you keep it for a too long time uh, inside and just when you put things over it might be that uh, it got a little uh, you know it got a little twisted or something so you can just try straightening it and uh, just 
put it back there. These are the steps that maybe it might, maybe 5% out of 100%, it might get solved. So why don't we just give it a try? So also, you can swap with a new cable if you have it. This is another interesting uh, step that you can do. So try pressing, gently pressing around the laptop border and also try pressing on the screen and see if the lines that's appearing, uh, if it disappears and appears or something. If it does so, then it is something related to the hardware. It's, it's uh, maybe uh, uh, something is bent. To solve this, temporarily you can in fact it's a little uh, a funny trick you can just try using a c-clamp and it might uh, actually solve the problem where, where you press if you press it and if it uh, if it goes away then what you can do is uh, wherever you press you can put a c-clamp and just see you can just you know run that until you take it to a, a service center so this is not uh, 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 this is not a very professional step. I know that. So I suggest I always suggest you to take it to the service center if you can uh, uh, afford it, and you know if you do really don't want to try anything before that. Now, coming to the next step, it's check the surroundings. This is really important. Even in my case, I had a magnetic uh, whiteboard duster, so just check if there is anything magnetic magnetic around your uh, screen if it is then you'll have to remove it immediately and just uh, you know keep your computer off for some time and just on it and see if it works now comes the power drain so this is also something you can do with the laptop remove your laptop i mean uh, turn off your laptop remove the power cord remove the battery and just make sure that there is no power in it. Also, there will be some residual power inside your laptop. So what you can do is keep pressing your power button again and again until the power button doesn't blink at all. That means you have to drain the power completely from your laptop. And just keep the laptop as it is for some time and then uh, put back your uh, battery and charge your battery and then turn on your laptop and try seeing if it works or not. Now the final step. This is really important, guys. You really need to give a rest for your laptop or your desktop. If you're if you have been using it for a very long time, uh, then obviously if you don't turn it off at all, then it might obviously give a trouble because you know, guys, these are uh, electronic items, right? So you need to give a little rest. So just try turning it off. Just go around, see your friends, and come back and see if you if it works. And before doing that, just uh, make sure that you try all the remaining steps that I've uh, discussed. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have, if you want me to add a few more steps into it, I can do that and make another video of it. And also, uh, as I want to say that my main tutorial is about uh, CAD, uh, I would like you to check those videos as well and uh, subscribe me in fact i'm planning to make more of this kind of bonus tutorials as i'm getting a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, appreciation for this bonus tutorials as well so i hope you enjoyed thank you so much and stay tuned guys